everybody, it's Heather, and I'm back with another process video for you guys today. Um, some of the process actually gets cut off for some reason. Um, my iPad didn't record part of it. I don't know what happened. So, um, right now, you will see me, um, I'm going to, this, uh, these, uh, thickers are like a hideous green, and I'm not a green person, but they're thickers, and I got them at, I think, Tuesday morning, like, a year ago, and they were, like, a dollar fifty or something, and you can't, I mean, you can't pass up thickers for that price, even if they're ugly, um, so you'll see here in a minute that I'm gonna paint them white. This, um, is an eight, is gonna be an eight and a half by eleven, it's gonna go in my lot, and in my album, I was about to say my latte, because <laughs> that's what I'm spelling here, in my album, and coffee is my favorite. I love coffee, any kind of coffee. And this is just a picture of one of my coffees that I made at home um, one day. It's from my Instagram page. And um, so I'm just putting things that make me think of coffee. So obviously coffee, latte, whipped cream, mocha, hot, sugar, milk, regular, decaf, grande, and then I'm also going to put at the top above coffee, iced. I don't do that until I'm like almost all the way finished with this um, because I like iced coffee too. Um, so, and I have my gesso out and um, this is something completely different than from what I've ever done before. So I had a lot of fun playing with this and um, the white background is actually canvas, and it's, um, sticky canvas, I think it's, um, it's from Ranger, I believe, um, but I got it at Tuesday morning, probably about six months ago, and I've had it, and it's just sticky back canvas, it's super thin, and I really bought it to kind of make maybe some of my own embellishments with it. And then with it being sticky, you know, I can cut them out on my um, die cutting machine and then I can make my own embellishments. But I just haven't really gotten around to it. And um, I wanted to do this kind of mixed media thing, I guess. I don't know. But I guess it's kind of mixed media. And I wanted to have a thicker background so it's not going to like curl up and look all funky. So I decided to use it. Um, so I fuss around with these words for a while. And um, you'll see that once I start gessoing, I figure out that it's going to take me quite a while to gesso these because they're, they're the um, foam thickers and they just like soak the gesso up so it took a couple layers of gesso and then I also did a couple layers of white acrylic paint just because you could still see the green kind of peeking through and it was uh frustrating me <laughs> so like I said um all of these words remind me of coffee or how I like my coffee um I don't like it decaf but some people like it decaf and so I was just trying to come up with a whole line of words that would go all the way down the page on that side. And um, I was still trying to see if I could fit one more there, but it actually ends up working perfect and I don't need another one. Um, so here I am just mixing up my gesso. It's a really old, old gesso. And let me see the brand here. It is just acrylic gesso. And it is, um, it just says art on the front of it. Um, I don't, it doesn't have a brand, but I, I believe I picked it up from Michael's and I've had this stuff for like probably four years. I don't use just that, that often. Um, so you can see that it looks pretty good on camera, but once it starts to dry, it kind of seeps through the pores of the, um, thickers and I just don't really like it. <laughs> so I will cut the camera off in a second because I realize it's going to take me um, quite a while to get this finished. And um, then in the next part, I thought I pushed record, but I guess maybe I didn't um, after this. And you just uh, miss quite a bit of it. 
So here I am going over for the second time with the gesso. And you can kind of see that it's still kind of peeking through a little bit there. Um, and I figured it would just be easier to use this big paintbrush. But then um, when I do the acrylic paint, I use a smaller brush to get in all the little tiny crevices. And you can see that it does kind of curl up there on the edge. But once I put it on a piece of paper, since the whole thing is sticky back, it, it sticks down perfect and it's not raised at all and doesn't look funky at all. Um, so I grab my acrylic paint and just white acrylic paint. And I'm going to go ahead and start um, covering it with that. And... I really love the way this layout turned out. You know, it's definitely different. And my husband came in while I was doing this and he kind of like looked at me like I was a weirdo. He was like, what in the world are you doing? Seriously? <laughs> I'm like, you just don't get it. You just don't get it at all. <laughs> I don't expect you to get it. <laughs> I'm playing and I'm having fun. That's all that matters, right? I, I mean, I didn't really... I had in mind what I kind of wanted to look like. I wanted the white on white. Um, but it kind of went a little different at the end, towards the end, and I actually like the way it turns out. I had a lot of fun with this layout. Um, and so I'm going to layer it on this piece of paper. Um, I believe it's Maggie Holmes, and it's an eight and a half by 11. The sticky back I trimmed it down a little bit and you'll see here that sticky back is no joke it is quite serious actually um, I had to like figure out a way to get it on here and then it goes on crooked and oh <laughs> you see how much how much there is at the, the left hand side and then on the bottom but there's not that much on the right hand side on top so I'll fix that later because it will irritate me quite a bit um, because it's not even. <laughs> so there's the picture and um, I wanted to do some things different and I've had this burlap, it's not paper, but it's a 12 by 12 sheet of burlap that I picked up from Michael's probably three years ago and I've never used it. And I figured, you know, I'm actually going to go for um, a brown look here. And you'll see here in just a second, I'm going to use, yeah, um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to use, see, I, I exit out of it. I used the Tim Holtz splatters and I used um, Lindy's Stamp Gang Starburst Spray and Dark Chocolate Truffle. And it's got like a gold, like an undertone of gold shimmer in it. And oh my God, it's so pretty. Like, oh, it's so beautiful. And so I used the coffee, like the coffee stain or the cup stain, whatever you would call it. And then some splatters. And I'm using my hot glue gun there to show you that or to put down the burlap because the burlaps I don't think would have stuck to the picture with regular adhesive um and I colored up that little um some odd girl stamp she is hipster may and she was in my haul video from a cherry on top and I just absolutely love her and you know, she is the whole reason why I did this layout because I wanted to use her in a layout um I don't often color stamps and use them in my layouts, but this one was different and I had fun with it and um, that's when I was coloring her. My husband came in and was like, what are you doing? Are you just sitting in here coloring? <laughs> I was like, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, so I'm going to pop her up on some pop dots because I want her kind of like on top of the burlap on the side there. And, um, so I sit here, I use a whole lot of pop dots because I want her whole body to be dimensional. I don't want any part of her to like sag. Um, so I'm going to use a whole bunch and I cut some in half because I ran out of my, my, uh, what is it? Scotch, I think. 
the one on the like roll, the the thinner foam adhesive. Um, I ran out of it yesterday, and that's my favorite adhesive, foam adhesive. But um, I'm also going to put some hot glue on the pop dots because I'm scared that the pop dots are not going to stick to the burlap. So I just wanted to make sure that they would stay. And there she is. How cute. And then that's when I realized, yeah, I have to do something about these edges. They don't match. They're not the same. Um, so I'm going to trim them even more and just make a really, really small border around this. And then I'm going to mat it on another um, 8.5 by 11 sheet. And so I'm going to go around and do that. And then also with everything being up, like the le the letters were puffy and then her being puffy, um, I had to use my scissors to cut some of it because it wouldn't cut on my trimmer, on my paper trimmer. So, you know, it's not perfect and I don't really care. I like the way it looks. I had a lot of fun with this one, like I said. And, um, it's not, it's still not going to be completely even when I, once I put it on the other sheet of paper and it's also, I think a Maggie Holmes paper. Um, I have a whole pack of eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper from Maggie Holmes, different collections. And, um, it just says, I love you. I love you. I love you. A whole bunch of I love you's, but you can't even see what it says. Um, the border is so tiny. Um, so yeah that actually I'm going to do one more thing here actually a couple more things I forgot I do staples and <laughs> oh man I love the way this looks but I struggle with a stapler like I think one got stuck in it and um it wasn't staple and I was like what in the world's going on here why won't you work so I pull this up to get it over here and then it just kept like not going and it was like peeing me off. Like I was getting really mad with it. Actually, I saw the one that was stuck there. I got it. Then I flew my staples out. Um, and then I go to do it again and it's still not working. I'm like, what the heck, man? Like, why won't you work, you stupid stapler? I'm going to throw you out the window. Um, so then I see one little tiny stapler that's like completely stuck at the bottom, all crinkled up. And I'm still struggling. Like, ugh finally I get it oh my gosh <laughs> and I hot glue the edge down there and so now I have one more thing to do I'm going to grab that um, Lindy Stamp Gang spray in the dark chocolate truffle and I'm going to spray on this um, sheet of plastic here and I've seen everybody do it but this is the first time I've ever done it and I'm just going to do some little splatters all over because it was just way too white up there at the top and it was really bothering me. And I'm actually going to do a little like kind of on the letters and all over so you can kind of see that. There's going to be some close up pictures here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a big thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.